Hello everyone, this is Mara and welcome back to Miranda. I'm just grabbing some food. Um, let's take those. Those will actually feel hunger a little more than the regular potatoes. Alright, so in today's episode guys, I, ha I actually have a lot of things that I want to show you. But let's start with the Patreon updates at the donor hall. And I have something else that I want to talk about. But first of all, let's go with the, let's go through with the updates here. Um, Hazely, my lovely newest patron here, has gained a NPC statue. So thanks so much Hazely for your support. And I've also updated the donation blocks. I'm pretty sure that, um, well, at least Hazely and Lisa, Alyssa, uh, got a new block update. So thanks so much for that. So now all of my patrons have their NPCs here. That makes me happy. And there is something else that I wanted to um, show you guys. I was actually thinking, I have been doing a little bit of work at the donor hall here. I finished uh, making this this hallway or this uh, staircase here uh, from marble. I got a ton of marble. Uh, I just went mining basically off camera, did some grindy work, and I got like probably something like 20 stacks of marble and I've been just slowly slowly uh, continuing working here and I was thinking about the flooring I've been wondering about this for ages <laughs> at this point but I was actually thinking since um since mobs cannot spawn on glass blocks I was thinking that maybe maybe this is something I need to do uh, eventually when I'm going to replace all the torches here, we are going to use some custom lighting probably, maybe some sea lanterns that we are actually going to uh, make out of the prismarine blocks. Or, wait a second, what is the recipe? I think it's quartz actually in the custom, uh, in the mod. <laughs> it's quartz, I'm pretty sure, and some dye. But anyway, we are going to make some sea lanterns and see what kind of uh, design we can come up with that and what kind of uh, lanterns or lighting we are going to use for the donor hall. But it's definitely not going to be torches. There's so many torches around here. But the flooring, like I said, I was thinking that um, I think I might end up using some glass for it. I know that I did have the whole whole floor was glass at some point, but I wanted to uh, switch back to marble blocks. But I think that we are we are still going to use some glass with this, and maybe just use some marble on the on the bottom there, like you can see here. So this is something that I was thinking about uh, most of the design, and you know, just trying to figure out what I want to do with this. That's going to happen off camera because it's going to be <laughs> very boring for you guys to watch probably. But I did want to show you guys that I, I am working on this still. I am trying to figure out what I want to do. I even started um, placing some windows here, see what I want to do with this. It's going to be a little dome, I'm pretty sure. Still need to figure out the uh, details with that. But anyway, I'm slowly working on that. <laughs> that, is the, that is the main thing that I want to um, show you guys here. Let's see, I'm trying to think I'm pretty sure that there weren't any any other uh, donation blocks that I needed to show you guys in this episode but I did promise to show Hazelie's NPC that I forgot to show in the previous episode so, so once again thanks so much for the support Hazelie and Hazelie actually suggested a wonderful name for one of the animals at the survival island so let's pop over here first or next, <laughs> I should say. I haven't been here since I loaded up the game, so it's going to uh, take a while to load the maps and whatnot. But anyways, yeah, so Hazel actually suggested a really fun name for one of the pigs um, that I have been rescuing so many times from the ocean. And let's see, is he here? Yes, <laughs> there he is. So uh, this is the guy that I've been, I've been saving so many times from the ocean. And Hazely had a really fun name for him. Let's see, I actually have my name tags and an anvil here now. So let's just go ahead and name this guy. And this is called this guy is going to be called Squid. 
<laughs> Squid the pig. So thank you so much, Hazel, for the name suggestion. Oh, I still have that from my live stream. Okay, never mind. Let's grab this. And by the way, guys, I haven't done any recording today and I'm a little bit rusty with my English. So, so apologies for that. But anyway, so this piggy is now named Squid. So we can actually, <laughs> I think we should be able to see him on the map. Yes. So whenever he escapes, we can now find him easily. We can we can see him. him um, we can see his name tag. So that's going to be fun. And let's see other changes in this area. Yeah, I did name the uh, golems. <laughs> so this guy that has been stuck here for ages, this guy is Samson. And the other golem, who was actually the one that uh, was stuck in the little puddle that I had here earlier. Let's see, where is he even? Where is he? <laughs> These golems are so weird. And the villagers, oh my god. Fultron B, what are you doing? I don't know. I don't even know. Um, there should be another golem here. <laughs> Where is he? Oh, oh my goodness! Is he in the is is he in the ocean? What? <laughs> oh my goodness! What I what I told you guys. This is this is what happens here. So this guy is named Gunnar, or Gunnar. I, I think that's the way that you guys in the US pronounce him. Um, it's also a Swedish name and it's pronounced Gunnar. And that's how I thought of it. So so there we go. This is Gunnar. Gunnar or Gunnar. And let's just take this guy away To These guys are so weird. <laughs> they get stuck in the, in the uh, water. So often but here we go so these are our columns let's see any other changes um, I actually tried making some custom NPC furniture so this is the uh, wooden couch from the NPC mod I made some more storage things here some crates that's pretty awesome and the carpentry bench is there too let's see Hmm. I'm not sure what I did show you in the previous episode. Did I show you the the animal pen here? Anyway, this is going to be change in the future, I'm pretty sure. But I just want wanted to have a little temporary place for some of the animals, like the dogs. They definitely need to be fenced in since they tend to tend to run away. And I also added a little deco craft doghouse there for them. And the chickens are here too since they tend to be uh, running away <laughs> as well so this is a good way to keep them keep them in the area and yeah the puppies are very hyper <laughs> all right um let's see anything else i actually had to make a little list of all the things that i want to show you guys um yeah another change is that i actually brought a couple of chocobos here already I bred them at the Temple Lagoon little um, Chocobo stable that we have here. All of these guys are males, th so they are not able to breed, obviously, here. Um, but that's okay. For now, I think this is this is going to be fine. So, uh, this guy actually have a uh, saddlebag on him. But we cannot ride him while he's wearing that. So, he's basically going to be a... Um, like this little helper that can be, uh, we can use a lead on him and we can ride other chocobos and, you know, hold the lead while he is, he's attached to it. So that's the way that we can use the, uh, these saddlebags. And there's also another kind of saddlebag, um, in the, in the chocobo mod. And that's the, that's the one that can be, uh, on the same chocobo with the saddle. So there's that. So the chocobos are hanging out here since there's there was already naturally so many, uh, so many of these uh, geishal, geishal greens growing in this area. So I figured that this might actually be a good place to have the uh, little chocobo pen or stable or something like that. So these birds are going to be hanging out here in the future as well. Um, let's see anything else here. 
Do, 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 do. Oh yes, I like I said, guys. I have a lot of a lot of stuff that I want to uh, show you guys in this episode. So I'm a little bit all over the place, but I actually added some new custom recipes to the game. So first of all, um, a little while back, let's actually go back to the marketplace area. I can show it to you guys there. Um, a little while back, I did add a custom trade for this guy, the blacksmith. And that was the um, redstone. You can trade a redstone for some red dye. And that is something that I actually added in the game. So it should be here. Let's see now. Um, red dye. Yes, here we go. So I added it uh, with the custom NPC mod like I did show you guys in the previous episode. I added the recipe to the game so we can, we can now have some more red dye from redstone by, you know, just using the... Um, vanilla game mechanics basically using the crafting table or the crafting grid in the inventory and there is something else there was some other recipe oh yeah now I remember <laughs> so um one of the recipes that has always bugged me a little a little bit is that uh, you can use string to make a wool block but you cannot basically uncraft a wool block into string so that's something that i added here so from now on let's see here we go you can make string from any any colored wool block so i actually added all of the <laughs> different colored wolves wolves uh, in the vanilla game i added all of the recipes here so from one wool block you are now able to get four string that's something that just makes sense to me and there might be some other similar recipes I'm not sure I don't remember all of them at this point but anyways uh, whenever I I think of it whenever I think about some sort of similar uh, recipes that are not in the game already I'm going to be adding them here and I also added the um the trade for the jellyfish that we can use to get some slime blood this. no not slime blocks slime balls i added the uh trade here so that's that's done already and i also added something special here um i'm pretty sure that this is something you can only find in twilight forest i've never seen it in the game but apparently uh there is something very interesting in the game <laughs> um let's see okay i can't use that okay so let's let's see Okay, here we go. So there is a uh, fiery blood and fiery tears um, as part of the Twilight Forest mod. And by using this, let's see, here we go. You can combine it with some iron box and get fiery ingots. And you can use these ingots to make some very special armor. Okay, that's, uh, where is he? That guy is really bugging me. Hi. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> now I feel better. Um, yeah, you can actually use this to make some custom armor and some weapons and tools. And get this, there is actually a auto smelting pick in my game. I found this by, by chance uh, a little while back. And you will need some fiery ingots and blaze rods to make one. And I really want one. <laughs> Since I really want to, you know, just have a look at all the different things that, um, that are in my game. There's a lot of things here. So I made a little trade for that. So for two diamonds, you can buy one bottle of fiery tears. And you can make those, um, those ingots. And we can actually make the auto smelting pick by doing that so that's going to be uh for some other day i'm not going to do it, do it now but i did want to show you guys that i did add uh one of the one of the custom items to the trades here um let's see yeah i did actually work on the pathway this week during my live stream i wanted to try out the hardened dirt you can get this from the uh from the canyon biome that comes with biomes of plenty 
And I actually have a little quarry area for that. So if I'm going to uh, be using more of these dirt blocks, I know where to get those. But I just wanted to see how it looks with all the other blocks that I usually uh, usually use uh, in desert areas. And I also tried some grass pads uh, here too. And for now, at least, I think it's, it's going to work okay. I did add some jungle leaves here too. I'm going to eventually hide some lighting under those uh, leaf blocks and obviously take care of all the all the torches here. And I already have an, have an idea what I want to do with the lighting. I was actually thinking of making a, a custom lighting source block with the Da Vinci mod. Maybe use some uh, sandstone and glowstone, something like that. Make like like little sand piles that we can place all around the place, and they can they can act as um, as torches basically. So we don't have to use just you know vanilla torches or or any anything like that. So so much in this area, but yeah, like I did uh, say, a little bit more progress was made here. I'm pretty happy with that. Some of these things have been bugging me for ages that I just keep procrastinating with them. I haven't been able, able to uh, get this get things done <laughs> um, in a little while in this area. So I'm pretty happy that there's at least something, something, um, some progress made in this area now. And let's see, uh, anything else in this area that I had in mind? I'm checking my list. Do, 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 do. Not really. Let's actually, let's go back home now. There is something else that we did during the live stream. And we actually finally added one of the, um, one of the dog pen areas here. Like I have been talking about for ages already, we keep uh, rescuing all these puppies all around the place, but pretty much uh, every episode we find some new dog breeds and I finally made a dog pen here. It's a relatively big area and I'm pretty happy with it. We can actually check the map. Here we go. So you can see the, the whole area here and I think I'm going to actually add another area here. Let's check the map again here. So that's going to be um, a pathway between the two of the dog pens, but there's going to be another uh, dog pen probably on this area and that's going to be for all of, all of my puppies, like all the wolves or the um, doggy talents dogs are going to hang out in, the, in that area. But this pen here, this is going to be for the rescue puppies. So basically all the copious dogs that we find, they're going to uh, come here. And eventually when we have the dog sanctuary area ready at the cherry blossom grove, we are going to move the puppies there. But this is going to be their temp, temp home, basically, um, until they are going to move to their permanent place. So this is something that we need to definitely work on. We need to add some, uh, some obviously some dog um, bowls here, some food bowls, some toys. We have so many options that we can what we can do with the toys. Hello, hello, Mr. Piggy. <laughs> and we can add some dog houses with the, um, with the deco craft mod. We can make some other kind of dog houses by, you know, just using Da Vinci or, or something else, something else like that. We can build them little houses. So they're going to have some shelters there. And we are actually going to uh, start releasing the puppies there in this episode already. So let's actually go back home. I need to make some food bowls. And we can start uh, emptying the, the pokeballs. So we have so many pokeballs with puppies inside of them. So this might be a good time to start doing that. Let's check this out, actually. Yeah, all of these are dogs. <laughs> so it's, it's just going to be a really good thing to... Um, have them, you know, be outside, run around, get some exercise, play with the other pups and whatnot. Um, okay, what am I exactly doing? I don't even know. <laughs> I need to make some food bowls. Let's see, we need a lot of iron for that. And I'm pretty sure I should have some buckets. Yes, we need those too. So let's start doing this. Okay. That's good. 
six. Hmm, we could actually make even more of these. Why not? Okay, here we go. And we can make one more. All right. Thank you. And let's see. Hmm, I really want to use some dice for this. I should have some of them here. Okay, not much. <laughs> Whoopsie. Okay, let's check this. Okay, good. All the different kind of plans here. Um, Let's see, anything else that I had in mind? I'm just going through my list again. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, Yeah, okay, let's check something out. So I was actually, there's a couple of more things that I want to show you in this episode. I actually made a little clay mine for myself and we are going to go back to that in just a bit. But while I was exploring and finding the uh, place for the clay mine, I found some bird nests and I found two I unidentified eggs from the exotic birds mod and we're going to check what these are in this episode. We are going to make a egg sorter a thing and you start to identify those. Let's see, what else can I use? Peonies? Why not? Uh, okay, let's just go with this for now. Okay, pink, that's fine. <laughs> Couple of pink bowls, orange one, green one. Okay, something else too. Let's use some lapis. Why not? All right, and some redstone. Why not? Since we can. <laughs> All right. Good, good, good. Two of those. One of those. Sweet. And I need to go and get some pork. So yeah, a lot of new things. A lot of uh, interesting things happening at the minute. I'm actually really, really... Um, excited and motivated to play in Miranda at the minute. I'm just happy to, you know, explore all kinds of all kinds of mods that we have installed that I haven't really checked um checked before and all that. So it's it's just really exciting for me. Um let's see. I actually Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm starting to remember. I had so many exciting things that I want to show you guys. Okay. Um, let's see. Do I have any space here? I did make some new Pokeballs for our exploration already. But yeah, uh, while I was exploring and finding the clay mine, I found some new animals. And <laughs> this is pretty exciting too. So I actually found two new uh, penguin breeds. I only found one of the penguins um, from each of the breeds. So we can't breed them at the minute. But I found a white flippered penguin and a yellow-eyed penguin. Let's actually let's let's check how these guys look like. Um, here we go. So this is the flight flipper, flight, white flippered one. What? Are you eating dog food, silly penguin? <laughs> He's so loud. And this is the other one, the yellow-eyed penguin, which looks pretty fun too. So there's that. We have some new penguins. Um, let's see, where did I put the penguins? Do do do. Tiny birds. Okay, here we go. Yeah, the penguins. Let's put them there. And let's see, what else did I find? I found one cardigan corgi, corgi <laughs> and a Pomeranian. So these guys were just hanging out by themselves. And I actually found the first ever uh, magical horse breed from the unicorn mod that I just installed. And I'm going to show that to you guys in a bit. But first of all, let's just go ahead and start taking these puppies out. Oh my goodness, there's so many of them. So many! Okay, okay, we can do this. <laughs> we can do this. Oh my goodness gracious, there's going to be so many puppies running around. But like I said, it's just going to be so much better to have them outside and not in inside of the Pokeballs. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's take some of them out now. 
and I will be releasing them, um, the rest of them off camera. There's, there's just too many dogs to deal with at the minute. So let's take those guys out. All right. Oh, dang it, night is coming. There might be some dark patches in that dog pen at the minute, so I'm not going to risk it. I need to go and light it up a little more. But, yeah, excited. Excited. We are making some progress, releasing some puppies, adding some new areas to our home base here. And let's see. Let's just start with the food bowls, I guess. Just randomly add them here. Right, maybe one here, one there, two more. Here we go. Uh, why not? Okay, that's a gate, not there. <laughs> uh, let's add one here. And let's add some pork. All right. For hungry puppies. Right, let's see. There's one. And let's see, where did I. I feel like I did place one of them somewhere else. Okay. <laughs> okay, let's start with those. And we can finally start releasing the puppies. So let's see. There's a bulldog. There's some horses. They are not going to move here. Okay, Dutch hounds, papillons, Labradors. Okay, let's start. <laughs> so there we go. Oh, he's so happy. And I'm happy. There we go. So they are actually healing themselves now, which is really good. We don't have to worry about that. Let's release these guys. There's a papillon. Another one. Here we go, buddies. Have fun. Enjoy your freedom. <laughs> Another poodle, Akita. And let's see, these two. There we go. Oh, they are so happy. Awesome. And we can also, we definitely need to check that there's always, always going to be food for these puppies. So it's good that there's going to be, um, Several of those food bowls that are not going to fight over them. Hi! <laughs> Hi, what are you doing? Okay, and like I said, I'm going to be adding the rest of the puppies. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm going to be adding the rest of the puppies off camera. There's just too many of them at the minute to do that. But let's see. The next one, the next thing that I wanted to do. I need to be careful with the gates too. They are so fast. They can easily run away. Um, the next thing that I want to do is to make the egg sorter so that we can actually check what kind of eggs we have. And let's see, I'm pretty sure that it's really easy to make. Yes, we need a bucket, some iron ingots and redstone for that. Alright, let's take those, some ingots. And we can make it... Whoops! Okay, did I miss something? Hmm, apparently it doesn't work like that. Alright, whoops. Interesting. <laughs> so the recipe is not working for some reason. Huh. I didn't see, I didn't notice that we need glass for it, since Optifine turns glass uh, to completely transparent block. So, so that's the reason. So we should be able to make it now. Yes, I did have some glass on me now. So there we go. Beginner oology. <laughs> oology, I don't know. <laughs> Something like that. But anyway, we have the Exoder thing here now. And we can actually take the unidentified eggs. Let's take those. And I'm pretty sure we need some some more redstone for this. So if we use redstone down here, we are able to analyze this. 
and see what kind of egg it is. So that's going to be exciting. I wonder how long it will take. Oh, it's a it's a Goldia Finch egg. They are so pretty. Oh, that's going to be awesome. And let's see what is this egg going to be. Exciting. Oh, that's so cool. Hummingbird! Oh my gosh! <laughs> Two such beautiful birds. I'm so excited. Oh my goodness. And we can actually use, let's see, we can actually take some um, blaze powder. Let's make some blaze powder. And we can improve the chance of spawning. So we can make it a 50% egg for both of these. Fantastic. So there is a uh, much better chance now to be able to actually get one of those eggs or one of those birds. Um, let's just go ahead and put them here. I think we're going to keep the eggs here now. So that's going to be exciting. I'm not going to going to hatch them yet. I'm not sure uh, where we would put those birds if they did hatch. But for now, we are going to keep them here. And when we go exploring and find some new bird eggs, we are going to add them here too. And uh, possibly even um, have a special episode where we where we spawn the bird eggs and <laughs> and name the birds and see what we can we can do with those. It's going to be really fun to find those new uh, new birds. And add them to the world. I was already thinking that originally I was planning on having some um, named squid in this area with this little lagoon area here but since we have all the all the custom animals or the custom um, exotic birds now I think we are going to use this this little pond or little lake for something else like maybe swans or ducks or something similar and it's going to be really fun. I'm, I'm just really excited about that. So definitely excited to uh, go ahead and start exploring. I think we are going to start in the next episode actually. So I wanted to get some of the some of the other things done uh, before we go exploring, like releasing the puppies, so that we can get some more pokeballs. So I need to do that do that off camera. So let's actually go and check the clay mine. Here we go. I talked about this, I think, in the previous episode or some of the some of the uh, latest episodes. That since we haven't found a, found a mesa biome yet, I was having a little bit trouble trying to figure out where I want to get some clay because that's definitely uh, something that I want to do with hardened clay. And I actually, I I just decided that we are going to use one of the uh, one of the desert areas. What is this? Lush desert. Yes, we are going to use one of the corners, basically that's closest to the really worked, worked out uh, <laughs> canyon biome here. We are going to use this area as a clay mine, and it's not going to be closed for any of our villagers or anything like that, so we don't have to look at it. <laughs> and I'm just going to go ahead and mine some clay here whenever I need it. And I also decided that I'm going to use the um this area for any other kind of things that I want uh, or what I need for my builds like all of the marble that I need I'm just going to come here and mine it since since there's so many of so much of that here if I need any stone for some reason if I need any of that hardened uh, dirt we can go up there and mine it so it's going to be really useful to kind of have this quarry uh, for all the all the stone materials and clay and whatnot and you know this area looks so so hideous <laughs> so so it's good that we can actually utilize it for something if not some anything else then it's going to be the quarry area so I'm pretty happy with that and like I said it's it's going to be uh, far enough from any any of our bills or whatnot so we don't don't have to um, look at it at any point so that's going to be really cool too but yeah actually i needed to show you the custom hor horse breed um i found them in this desert actually when i was when i was mining some clay here like i did say already and uh, they look pretty cool so let's see hmm let's actually go here 
because these are kind of a special animals. <laughs> and I'm not completely sure about their abilities yet. I do know that there is one very special feature and I'm not really tempted to try it out or release them here. So let's let's just go here. Let's go to the desert. And we might actually be able to see if those ani animals there unless they have been despawning there. But anyways, let's go and check them out. But yeah, like I did say already, um, probably in the next episode we are going to go and do some exploration. And find some new animals. Do I have my bed, bed with me? Yes, night is coming. And we are also probably going to be able to find some new, new of those um, magical horse breeds. So that's going to be really exciting. Let's see, I do want to find... All kinds of animals actually and let's see and there's actually um, some of the exotic birds are spawning here too so there's some roadrunners there and let's see oh there we go there's one of those horses let's go and check him out here we go so this is a nightmare horse and it will actually spread fire and you can't put it out you can't put out the the uh, fire either so that's uh <laughs> that's interesting and I actually happened to find a baby horse a baby nightmare so that's going to be our horse and it's definitely going to be interesting to you know um, figure out what kind of habitat habitat area we're going to have for a horse that will actually spread fire there's two more nightmares there but yeah this is the first uh, magical horse that I found so that's pretty pretty exciting but I think we are actually going to end it here, guys. A little bit, um, a little bit interesting place <laughs> with all the all the magical horses and all the mobs spawning behind me and next to me, probably, and all that. But we are going to end it here. So thanks so much, guys, for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, leave a like and comment below. And I will see you next time in Miranda.